Welcome to the Peninsula Fine Arts Center. Uh, we are excited to show off our latest exhibition called Next Emerging Virginia Artists, which is up until October 12th of 2014. We have on view in this group exhibition 10 phenomenal artists that all have a Virginia connection. Right now, we're in the midst of installing this wonderful exhibition, and we have, uh, you'll hear some noise around me. We're doing three site-specific pieces that artists um, are creating right now as I speak. These pieces will only be here on display while the exhibit is open, and then they will come down. So this is a wonderful opportunity to see um, emerging artists that are just starting out their career. Obviously, the Peninsula Fine Arts Center is pleased to uh, have this as a platform to bigger and better things in their career. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelsey Witt. Um, I was born and raised in Newport News, Virginia. I went to school in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and now I'm back in this area. Um, I've been an artist for four years, selling my work for three, so super excited. This is actually 3D. This is tape, not paper. It kind of looks like paper. I've gotten that question a lot. But um, it's tape, uh, a lot of um, just constant lines and lines of tape. I went through 12 rolls in total, so a lot of tape. I don't really sketch anything out to begin with, so I don't sketch any of this insulation into any pad or anything. I have general shape ideas I want to explore. So for example, I started with the drips. Um, I knew that I wanted to do some sort of paint related looking thing in tape just to um, mess with the idea of different forms of art reacting with other forms of art. My, I love how my shapes interact with each other and I wanted the eye to go from a structured shape like this to flowy and then back to structured. So when I'm creating my installations, I'm really worried about um, how the eye moves across them and how people react to them. The point of my piece is so that people can come in and take pictures and I really want my work to be um, part of the audience. I want them to come in and be able to hashtag and post it all over social media. I think what makes my tape installations permanent, because they aren't permanent, is the fact that people come in and they take pictures with my pieces and then they become permanent in the social media world. So 28 hours and 20 minutes later, it was, it was a very long process, but being done, I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. I'm also a painter, so I have paintings in the same room. Um, I think they very much complement <laughs> the installation, which is really cool. So, yeah, come see, come see the work. Come to the Peninsula Fine Arts Center and take pictures and share it with all of your friends. That'd be awesome. Still got some more touching up to do. Um, I'm Hampton Boyer. I'm here at the Peninsula Fine Arts Center uh, installing this massive piece uh, called The Quirks of the Circle. And it's about four characters that represent different attributes and human personalities. By the time I'm finished with them, I'm kind of over them. But I mean, it's, it's, it's like, it's like doing your homework on time. You're glad you did it. I did a, uh, I did a mural in, in Baltimore at one point, and I spent four days working on it, and then I had to paint over it the next day. It was a very interesting day. It was a pretty huge bird that I had created. It was only like the upper torso, but it was probably like, you know, I don't know, I, I would say, Maybe a couple thousand feathers. I don't ever really keep track of how many I do, but it was a lot of work just to be painted over after one night of being shown. But uh, it kind of, I think it gives character to the, uh, to the place that holds, that has the wall, you know? Because then it's like, there's this thing that's like underneath of everything. So 
it doesn't matter like what shows next you know conceptually this piece is always going to be here you know yeah i, I kind of disconnect myself from them after a certain point because you know you, g you give it so much of your energy you know so you kind of It's like a kid growing up, he goes to college, you just leave it alone, you know? <laughs> you leave it alone. So I'm working on a site responsive uh, installation. All the pieces are temporary, they're hung with T-pins, so none of the pieces are attached. Um, and at the end of the exhibition, the whole thing will come down. Um, basically, I don't really know what it's gonna look like when I start, and I don't really, I kind of respond to the time of the installation and I respond, like so how long the installation time is and the space. So I didn't even know what my wall was gonna be like when I flew in from Chicago. So my name is Stacia Yapanis. Um, I'm an interdisciplinary artist who is Chicago based, but I was born here in Newport News. So it's a pleasure to come here to the Peninsula Fine Arts Center and be able to install for an entire week in my hometown. Um, Super excited that for the first time, my entire family gets to be at one of my art openings, which doesn't happen uh, because I live in Chicago and they live here in Newport News. So my mom, my sister, my nieces, my brother-in-law, they'll all get to see a piece firsthand on Friday, um, which is probably the best part of, of working here, aside from the amazing space that I'm in. Yeah, I grew up here. I went to uh, Peninsula Catholic High School for a couple years. Then I actually went away to boarding school in Richmond. Um, yeah, it's nice to come back. I miss the weather. <laughs> I uh, am a teacher. I teach at the Art Institute of Chicago in the Fiber and Material Studies Department, which is the department I got my graduate degree from. So I teach intro to Fiber and Material Studies. Um, so a lot of my work, although this is paper, it's kind of influenced by crochet and quilting and embroidery, which are the skills that I teach. I usually know that there's like a central point where I'm gonna start. So I kind of tend to pick a start point and then after that, it's sort of where is it on the wall and how's it gonna grow and then each, each move kind of evolves out of the next one. So sometimes it grows like a flower, sometimes it grows like this was a branch for a while and then I was thinking about how does a branch grow and then when do things start to drip down from it. But as I was doing that, this top line kind of became the line of a mountain range. And so I started thinking about that. And all the material is found collected imagery from magazines. So you see all the repetition of imagery, but none of it is printed or copied. It's all just from advertisements. So here's a good example of an image that is repeated, but the size is different, the image quality is different, like this one, the resolution is completely different from this one. It's the exact same advertisement, it's just in a different magazine. Some things, some images, like this is a humongous sub from Subway. I got this out of a, an insert in a daily at the restaurant that I work at in Chicago. A lot of people say they're hungry. They get hungry looking at it. The moment where I tell them that it's not permanent and that the pins will come out and it'll never be this way again. That people are kind of amazed by that and they usually try to help me figure out a way to make it permanent, but I don't want it to be permanent. It's, um, we can't always get what we want and it, even when we do, it doesn't really last. We always get hungry again. We always want something else, like that's human nature. And so I'm interested in creating this experience where you have to enjoy the beauty right now. It's right here and it will go away. But the beauty of that is that I just get to make another one. So it's not really that sad. It's not as sad as, as it first seems. These are emerging artists. This is the beginning of their career and we want to serve as a platform for them to go to bigger and better things as their careers flourish. We need to really encourage these bright, artistic, brilliant minds and because we need to keep them here. Otherwise, they're going to leave and go to other cities that have a more uh, flourishing artistic community. So we really want to, um, to keep these artists here and, and help them and support them in all that we can do. Thank you for watching Newport News TV, local programs you won't see anywhere else.